Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is day six of the Avid of Cyber. So if you guys experienced a little hiccup this morning, at least I did, uh, all my tasks were gone. So I actually had to fill those out again. So if you had that problem, you know, I'm not sure if it's gonna be restored or, or not. So that's why I went again, went ahead and filled in all the answers again. So Thank God it was only at, you know, day number six, not day 20. That would have been a lot of work. But um, yeah, so if you guys are new to the channel, uh, please subscribe, share, and all that. If you're coming back for fun, welcome back. So what we're going to be doing here is doing some email analysis. So it's, <laughs> it's beginning to look like some phishing. Okay, cool deal. I love phishing. Phishing is fun. So we can see the learning objectives. We can learn about the email analysis, what it is, why it still matters, you know, analyzing email headers, and and so on and so forth. You know, we can look at what is email analysis, you know, pretty much looking at the headers of an email, the information, who's sending it, who's receiving it, if there's any malicious stuff inside of the email header, and all that stuff. So know how to analyze the email, the from, the to, the date, subject, return path, domain key, DKIM, signatures, SPF, which is the SPF record, and yeah, so on and so forth. So this is this should be fun. And you know, we I booted up my VM. So we have some we have some action going on there. And uh yeah, this is pretty much, you know, so some of the some of the tools that we'll probably use, uh, email analyzer, these are some uh, some commands that we can use. Dot i, I'm in dash dash i dash dash header dash u to show the URLs, etc. So we have that right here. We'll probably have to use that tool at some point, I'm assuming, but we'll see as we go. And then you know we have the email repli uh, repetition. I'm sure you probably have to put an email in here, see if it's, you know, if it repetition is like good, bad, risky, and all that stuff. These are some tools. Um, I always have this in my Arsenal Total Virus, uh, Inquest Lab, IP Info, uh, Total Virus, uh, Total Virus is there, uh, URL Scan, which, which is a sandbox environment. Uh, all these, all these uh, tools are super, super formative. So make sure you get used to the tools. If you want to analyze email and SHA 256 sum, this is probably going to look at a file name to see what the what the, uh, the hash value is, and I'm sure you have to put it into Total Virus. I'm guessing to see some information, but um, yeah, well, this looks fun. It looks like it's getting a little more interesting as the day goes on. All right, so I'm up for that. Right, um, I'm all up for the fun. So, yeah, so what we're going to do, let's see, what questions do we have here today? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. So, ten questions. All right, cool deal. So, what we have here, so what we're going to do is, second, what just happened? Okay, no worries. Let's go try to show what happened. But my whole uh, screen froze for a second. So what is the email address of the sender? So in here, we have an urgent email. So what we can do is open that up with Sublime. So we can op right click, uh, open with Sublime text. That would be my choice. Let's go ahead and uh, make this bigger, as big as we can get. All right, so this is the email. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see if we can zoom this in a little bit. Yeah. Oh, all right, that's, that should be fine. Just want to make it a little bigger so we can see it. So what is the email address of the sender? So we have all this information here. So let's look for the sender. So the sender looks like it's uh, Chief Elf. So this looks like the email right here. Chief.elf at Santa Claus. Uh, H 
H THM. Let's go ahead and copy this, throw this in the clipboard. Okay. Let's copy this. Throw this in here because I'm lazy and I don't want to sit there and type it. It probably would have took the same amount of time, but I'd rather have it. I'd rather have it correct. All right, so what is the return address? So obviously we can do a control F and look for go up here, find go to return, but it looks like it's right here from Murphy dot evident at uh, bandit. So let, let's go ahead and copy this email back here. Paste it. Let's go ahead and paste. Happen. Let's go ahead. Show what happened here. Delete all this. Clear. Go ahead and X out of this. Out of this. All right, let's try this again. Go to Murphy. Right click. Copy. Perfect. Here we go. I think that worked. Perfect. Sweet. That's the answer for number two. So let's go ahead and clear that out. And so number three. On, uh, on whose behalf was the email sent? So it was probably sent from Chief Elf, from Chief Elf. But all right, I, I'll go ahead and type that in. Um, all right, so three for three now. So what is the X spam score? So we can see here the XBAM score right here is three. Let's go ahead and type three here. Submit. Perfect. So far, so good. And what is the what is hidden in the value of the ID field? So let's go look at the ID field. What's hidden? All right, so we have a, whoops. All right, so we have, looks like a base 64 right here. Right here looks like the base 64. So let's go ahead and copy this. And actually paste it here. All right, and let's go ahead and go out to like, uh, let's see if I have it as a favorite. 64, yeah, base 64. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead. Let's zoom in on here, paste it, decode, perfect. So AOC2022 underscore email analysis, perfect. Looks like we are good here. Let's copy this, paste this here, hope for the best. Awesome. All right, cool deal. So, so far, so good. Let's bring, bring it down a little bit more. So visit the email repetition website to, you know provided in the task what is the repetitions results of the sender's email address so if we go all the way up here we can see that it was using i believe it was using up real quick let's keep going up let's go down So right here. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. All right. So let's go to simple. I believe I have that here. Perfect. Here we go. So the from email, right? I believe we're from email. Let's look. From the sender's email. Okay, from the sender email. Let's go ahead and copy this. But you know what? Let's just go back up here. Copy this. Shoot it in here. Search. All right, so it looks like it's risky. Make sure that's the correct. Paste. Awesome. So we're good there. So far, so good. So check the attachments. What is the attachment name of the... What is the file name of the attachment? So let's see if there's any attachments in here. Let's go ahead and just 
F or find. Let's just see if there's anything here. Spell slow. Oops. Attachment, X attachment. So, oops. What just, okay, right here. The file name is division underscore of of labor dash load share plan doc. All right. So let's go ahead and copy this. Copy. Throw this in clipboard. Paste it here. It. Perfect. So far, so good, folks. All right, so let's see. So, what is the hash? Excuse me. What is the hash value of the attachment? Okay, so hash value. Let's go ahead. And see how we can go ahead and. So there is this attachment. Let's do about this for a second. So I'm assuming for this, we may have to use that, that email. Let's, let's go check. Let's go look up quick. All right, so the email attached. So that's the email attachment. So this is the email attachment. So what is the hash value of this, this file? All right, so let's go ahead. And just do this. Let's go open up a terminal and I'm just going to pretty much type in everything here. Terminal opening. Okay, there we go. All right, so we can do ls, where are we? cd to desktop. Oops, if I can spell correctly. ls, so we have, we have things coming in here. So we have that email. So let's go ahead and just copy that. See. Let's see if I can copy this. That'll be a lot easier. House is busy. See if I can copy this. Paste. Paste. Perfect. Sweet. All right. Here this. All right. Let's go look at what's happening here. All right. So let's go back down to the question. So we were just able to do that. Let's go down. All right. So what is the hash value? So let's go look. Let's see. Up a little bit. Let's see. headers message. Okay, so attach uh, the attachment extraction extracting. We extracted that. So let's go ahead and now we have this email attachments. So if we go inside here, you should see that document. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So now let's just go like this. Let's do CD desktop LS <clears throat> CD to email LS. All right, so we have data here. Let's go ahead and make this a little larger so we can see. Perfect. All right, so now what we can do is use, let's go up and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. So we can do right here. SHA-256 sum, and then the actual attachment name. So let's do that. Six, sum. Okay, perfect. So here is the answer for number, whatever the number it is. Let's go ahead and copy this whole thing, sorry. Copy. Throw this in the uh, clipboard and then throw this in here. Paste. Hope for the best. Perfect. Boom. Good to go. All right. So that's that. So in VirusTotal, uh, on a total virus website, use the hash 
All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go total virus. Total virus. I. All right, so let's go to total virus. Throw in. Go back, see what it's asking. Okay, let's throw in this hash. Okay, enter. All right, so it said go on the behavior, right? I mean, right? Navigate on the behavior uh, section. What is the second tactic marked for the Midas uh, attack section? Midas attack section right here. So the second one is going to be. All right, so defense invasion. Whoops. Jeez. That. Copy this because I'm. About to just have to. All right, let me just. Super slow. All right, got it, I think. Perfect. Awesome. So far, so good. So one more. So we have to visit inquest website and use the hash value to search. What is the subcategory of the file? So I have inquest here. And then go ahead and search that hash. Oops. Let's go back here. Copy this hash. Paste it. Look it up. <clears throat> right here we go. <clears throat> so, question: subcategory file. Subcategory. Go back for a second. Okay, here we go. I guess perfect right here. So it's going to be right weird. Let's try this again, Chris. Look up delicious. Okay. Okay, malicious. Else. I love this. All right, let's look at the full page result. There we go. All right, so it's a uh, macro hunter. Uh, put that in here. Perfect. Awesome. So that's it. If you want to learn more about phishing, you can analyze, you know, check out the phishing module right there. If not, you just can complete this. And we can X out this, we can terminate this. And that's pretty much it for this video. This is day six. We completed it. Good to go. And until next time, folks, have a good one. And hopefully you're enjoying this uh, cool journey. Thank you, TryHackMe, and happy holidays.